The graphics program we're starting to work on today is this. It's basically a demo I wrote, actually an animated demo of how a nested for loop works. This was from my previous uh, video, uh, 142. And basically if you hit the step button, the uh, from pointer moves up and the two pointer stays in the same place. And if you keep doing that until the from pointer reaches the top, the next step, the two pointer moves down one and the from pointer begins again at the bottom directory. And I had an animated version of this that shows the whole process. You can see it restart And the initial incremental graphics program we're going to create today just creates this, the five directory empty boxes. So the first thing we need to do to create this initial uh, incremental program is drag a panel over to our form. And quite often when I'm using graphics, I bring up the uh, common task pop-up and click doc in parent container to just fill the entire uh, form with the panel. But in this case we actually want to make it large but not to fill the whole panel. And the reason for this is we want to leave some space at the bottom to put in a couple buttons. The step and run button you saw previously. So we'll rename this panel uh, Pan Canvas because it's essentially the canvas we're going to uh, create the graphics on. And for the background color, we'll make it uh, Active Caption. And for the border style, we'll make it uh, Fix 3D. And then we'll add the uh, two buttons, Step and Run, that we saw previously in the demo. And we want to go into the uh, Form Load method, so we'll double click on the form. And we want to add two global variables. One's Pen Type. We'll call this Pen Black. And the other is a graphics type. And just call that G. And then we want to actually instantiate them in the form load. So we'll say pen black equals new pen. And there's several overloads for this. The uh, uh, polymorphism of it is uh, there's either a, a brush, a color, a brush and a width, or a color and a width. And it's the fourth one we really want to look at. So we'll put in color black. Oops. and a width of 5 because we want it to basically be <coughs> an empty box but with a big enough border that we can really see it so a, a 5 makes it a nice large border and then for the graphics we need to say G equals and then use our uh, our panel and a method of that called uh, create graphics which will give us a graphics object we can write on 
And then what we really want to do is a for loop. Have an integer, integer index, call it iy, and set it initially equal to 1 rather than 0. And then say as long as iy is less than 6, keep looping. So we'll basically loop from uh, 1 to 5 and then have iy++ plus plus as the action to take. And we want to use a graphics uh, method called uh, draw rectangle. And the first uh, object this takes is a pen, so we'll put in our pen black. And then we need a rectangle, which is four coordinates, the upper left and the lower right coordinate. So for the upper left, uh, x, let's put 300. And for the y, let's put I y times a hundred. So the first one will be a hundred, the second one two hundred, and so on. And then we need a width and a height. So it's eighty is the width and eighty is the height. It's actually a size for the last two parameters, not the second coordinate. And this, theor in theory, should draw our five empty boxes. Unfortunately, it won't work. If we go up and uh, first save this and compile and run it, you see we don't see anything. And I'm pretty sure the reason for this is that this graphics doesn't get created until after the form loads. It's being specified here but it doesn't actually happen until after the form loads. So what we want to do is go down to our step button and double click on that for the uh, button uh, handler event and just copy this code over to the, the button handler. Let's do a, I'll do a copy and do a paste and then highlight this and do control E C to comment out the code since it won't work in that area and then if we save this and run it and click on the step you see there are our five rectangles so we've completed the initial incremental program and in creating the graphics program I showed at the beginning well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. In the next tutorial, we'll start to look at how to create the pointers to the, uh, the directories and the, the automated animation.